Martyrdom of Bibi Fatma Salamu Following the farewell pilgrimage, B Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu summoned Bibi Fatma Salamu and informed her that he would be passing away soon, but also informed her that she would be the first of his household to join him. Some days after this discussion, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu died, following which Fatma was grief-stricken and remained so for the remainder of her life until she died. It is reported that B. Fatima Salamana reconciled her differences with Abu Bakr prior to her death, although the majority belief affirms her anger with him until her death. When Umar came to the door of the house of B. Fatima Salamana he said, By Allah, I shall burn down the house over you unless you come out and give the oath of allegiance to Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr had sent Umar when Ali had, Mamali Alayhisam had refused to give bayat to Abu Bakr. Umar went with fire and this caused B. Fatma Salaman distress, as a result of which she suffered a miscarriage. On the day of the bayat, paying allegiance, Umar hit B. Fatma Salaman on the stomach that such a, such, in such a manner that her child in her womb died. Um, the Nazimiyyad believed that Umar struck the stomach of the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu that resulted in losing her child in her womb. They also believed that Umar had threatened to set fire to the house, including those inside. This included Imam Ali al-Islam, Bibi Fatima sallallahu al-Islam, Imam Hussain al-Islam, and many others. After the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi when Imam Ali al-Islam did not come out to give the oath of allegiance to Abu Bakr, the door of the house a B. Fatma Salamun was burnt down to get him out, and in the process, B. Fatma Salamun was injured. Her fifth unborn child, also known as Mohsin, died because of this harsh action. This also left her bro with broken rib bones. Some of the companions and she herself died within three months of the death of her holy father. The following lines of poetry show her ordeal after the death of her holy father very clearly. She has, Salaamu Alaiha has said, After the death of my father, my sufferings were so great that if such hardships fell upon days, the days would have turned into nights. B. Fatma Salaamu Alaiha died as a result of injuries sustained after her house was burnt and the door was opened on her while she was pregnant. B. Uh, Prophet Muhammad Salaamu Alaiha appeared in a dream and informed B. Fatma Salaamu Alaiha that she would be passing away the next day. B. Fatma Salamun informed her husband Imam Ali Alayhisam, and asked him not to allow those who had done injustice to her to be involved in her janazah. The next day when she died, her two sons were the first family members to learn of her death and immediately proceeded to the mosque to inform their father who, upon hearing the news, fell unconscious. When he regained consciousness, Imam Ali Alayhisam, according to Fatma's wishes, performed the janazah and buried her during the night on the third Jamaat al Tani, 11th after Hijri, making out three or three other false graves to ensure her real grave could not be identified. With him were his family members and a few close companions. The Sunnis, however, state that on the morning of her death, she took a bath and put on new clothes and lay down on bed. She asked for Imam Ali and informed her that her time to die was very close. Upon hearing this news, Imam Ali Alayhisam began to cry, but was consoled by Bibi Fatma Salman Alayha, who asked him to look after her two sons and for him to bury her without ceremony. After her death, Imam Ali Alayhisam followed her wishes and buried her without informing the Medinan people. On the third of the month of Jamaatani, Bibi Fatma Salman Alayha died. This is about 90 days after the death of, the ho of her holy father. Asma bin is in the same house to help her house old work tells the story of her death in the in a very moving manner when the day she arrived for she, when the day arrived she prepared food for her children then she told Asma that she was going to her prayer room she would say takbir very loudly at various intervals when Asma did not hear the sound of takbir she should go to the out to the mosque and tell Imam Ali Alisam about the death of his wife if in the meantime the children come home give them the food before telling them about the death of their mother Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain some arrived and Osma brought some food for them. They said that they would not eat with their mother and she had to tell the children of the death of their mother. Both entered the praying room and stayed with her for a while. Imam Ali some arrived and prepared for her for the last rituals. 
When he was giving her last bath, he cried very loudly. Asma asked the reason, and he said that he could not bear to see the wound by her side when the door of the house fell on her due to commotion by some of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. When they all wanted Imam Ali Islam to come out of the house for the oath of allegiance to Abu Bakr. After performing the last ritual, she was taken to the cemetery of Bucky in the darkness of the night for her for burial as per her wish. Very few family members were present at the burial of the daughter of the Prophet. Some historians say that she was buried in her own house, which became part of Masjid the Nabavi during the reign of the Um. Mayyid Caliph Omar ibn Abdulaziz. It was also said that Muhammad Yarislam had dug 40 different graves for her.